championship trainer Teddy Atlas and Teddy when you look at years gone by the United States has always fielded a very strong boxing team and you feel that this team could be made of granite yeah they're used to being in the gold medal hunt and you know what that's gone a little bit scarce lately the last two Olympics they haven't been really mining that gold only two gold medals in the last two of course the last one we had Reed David Reed who brought home a gold medal and he's won a world title since that then you go back to the Olympics before that the golden boy himself Oscar De La Hoya but no big medals no big gold this year I believe that the United States team can get up to three or four once again like they used to in years gone past well this will be a very long road for the United States boxers because not only do they have to get through the Olympic trials but then in two weeks here on NBC they'll fight in the box offs in Connecticut then after that America's qualification boxers from North Central and South America will compete in three different tournaments the only nation not involved in that Cuba they will have a full 12-man team now as is the case in amateur boxing the rules are a little bit different than the professional game and the scoring is different as well with more on that we welcome in Fred Rogan hey Bob thanks very much all right folks if you are scoring at home let's show you what the judges will be looking at here in Tampa today we have highlighted the part of the body that is the scoring area with yellow basically any firm or solid blow with the white part of the glove scores a point in front of the five judges around the ring there is a box just like this a blue button and a red button anytime a point is scored they will push the button if three of the five judges push the button within a second of each other a point is scored that's how they're scored Bob back to you all right Fred and throughout the afternoon you will be able to see the score as it happens we will start with the 106 pound weight class light flyweights Brian Valoria and Nonito Donaire will square off we take a look at the matchup Donaire 17 years of age this is the first meeting between the two Valoria is the world champion and the 1999 United States champion you see that Valoria is a right hander and Donaire is the southpaw and there is Nonito Donaire born in the Philippines moved to the United States in 1993 and he has a young brother Glenn that will be fighting in the challengers bracket tonight Brian Valoria the Hawaiian punch one of the hardest punchers in the weight class in amateur boxing 19 years of age remember four two minute rounds in the amateur boxing game and you'll notice that Valoria you're going to see has more of a pro style and Donaire he'll box a little bit use those legs take what you give him looks to counter Valoria generally known or thought of as the strongest guy in his division. But again, styles make fights. Valoria defeated Todd Allen in the first round of the trials, 19-5. Then he had to beat Nonito's brother, Glenn, 10-5. So Nonito hoping to gain some revenge on his brother's behalf. And this Donaire brother can box and use his legs a little bit more than his brother did in his fight with Valoria. And that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to walk Valoria into some traps. And then when Valoria's waiting, jump in and get off. Doug Emery is the referee. You can see Donaire likes to use those legs. Can be problems for a guy like Valoria, who only has four two-minute rounds. And the pros, Who's going to have the edge? Probably Valoria. This is not the pro. Final half minute, you see Valoria. 2 1 edge as far as the scoring blows. Valoria needs to be set to punch. Good left hand by Valoria. Yep. Donaire cooperated with him. Laid on those ropes. He doesn't want to be on these ropes here with the stronger Valoria. And Valoria trying to use his power here in the last 30 seconds of round number one. At stake, the Olympic Trials Championship in the light flyweight division. 106 pounds, Brian Valoria, Nonito Donaire. Some time over commercialization and endless official sponsorship. It's nice to sit back and take hey, two and roll. Oops. Round number two underway between Nonito Donaire and Brian Valoria. Light flyweight division, 106 pounds. Valoria with a very strong finish to round number one. Donaire trying to be the matador. 
Valoria, the bull. He wants to be a smart bull. He wants to punch at the right time. Valoria with a 3 1 edge as we start this second round. In the early part of the rounds, Bob will usually go, you can see because of the styles, will dictate that they usually go a little bit to Donaire. He used those legs. Right now he's switching to Southpaw. He has good distance. He's able to do things with those legs with the with a little bit of a slower Donaire. But then as the round goes on, Donaire's strength starts to take over. Well, Donaire switched back to the conventional stance and did land a right hand, lands a combination. Three to two now, Valoria in front. That is the official scoring. Remember, five judges at ringside. At least three of them must hit their button within a one-second interval to register a scoring blow. And Teddy, in amateur and Olympic-style boxing, it is very tough to get a lot of credit for body shots. They have to be hooks from the outside and very clear and distinct. Yeah, and it's too bad that they don't get credit because some of them do real good body work. But a lot of those guys that don't get credit, they'll be the guys that maybe don't make it all the way in the Olympics and in the amateurs, but in the pros, they'll be the guys that the pro managers will be looking to grab. There's a left hand to the body and then a right by Donaire. So Donaire's using those legs well. He's pot shot and then getting out. He's not allowing, he's being smart. He's taking advantage of what he has in front of him. He's not allowing Valoria, the stronger guy, to get set. 4-2 Valoria, late stages of round two. All right. In his last fight, Brian Valoria defeated Glenn Donaire, and brother Nonito has vowed revenge. Brian responded. As far as Nonito asked, I'm trying to get me back, like, taking a revenge or something. I mean, you have to do what you have to do, but I'm doing what I have to do also. So let's just let the best man win. Let the best man win. We are through two rounds and very interesting bout. Valoria had the edge in round one, but Donaire sort of turned the tide a bit, Teddy, in round number two. Yeah, he needs to. When he gets his moments is when he has Donaire standing in front of him because that's his strength. His strength is he set the punch like that, and he can get off, but he needs his man in front of him a little bit. It was a 4-2 edge for Valoria after two rounds. There's a lot of people that think that Valoria, the world amateur champion, reminds them of a former Olympian, Michael Carbajal, who won a silver medal in the 88 Olympics. And since then, one has become a three-time professional world champion. Michael Carbajal, real strong, very similar to Valoria. You know, I mentioned Donaire was born in the Philippines, moved to the United States in 1993. Valoria is from Hawaii, but he spent five years living in the Philippines with his grandparents. So both of them have something in common as far as that's concerned. Right now you see that obviously Donaire is using the ring. He's got to move those hands. He's got to be accurate. Looks like a little blood maybe from the nose. Donaire. The ring is 18 feet by 18 feet inside the ropes. And caution being given to Donaire. Can't leave with the head. Punches up. So right there, Valoria reached in a little bit. And that's playing right into the strength of Donaire. He likes to count. You can see he doesn't want to leave right now. He's looking for Valoria to give him something. Right now, Valoria is sort of controlling the tempo. He has a 5-3 lead through three rounds. Fred is great. NBC. We welcome you back to Tampa, Florida. Bob Papa, Teddy Atlas, Fred Rogan. This is the light flyweight Olympic trials championship. 106 pounds, Brian Valoria and Onito Donaire. Valoria with the edge going into this fourth and final round. Left hand from Donaire. Right now, Donaire's taking a little bit more chances, but he's doing the calculating. He slipped a little bit there, but he's getting off his punches and getting out. The trick to that, Bob, is make sure you don't throw one too many because then you'll get time 
by just strong Valoria. And Valoria did time him and picked up a point in there. So 6-4 Valoria in this final round. Donaire is waiting for something. He used the jab while he's waiting, which you should do. And he's looking for a counter. He's looking for a trap. He's trying to walk Valoria into a trap. He likes to use his feet. He needs distance to use that speed. That's why he's outside. He's trying to get in, get out. Because Valoria is trying to time him. And they're trying to pump out that jab. Just set up a right hand as he rips one to the body. And here's the spot right here where the amateur way of thinking hurts a guy a little bit because Valori would be well served to go to the body. But they've been taught that that doesn't count a lot, that the judges don't respect it enough. But right now, if Valoria went to the body, he'd have a better chance of catching the elusive guy in front of him. Yeah, but Valoria has the 7-4 lead as we hit the final 40 seconds of the bout. But he doesn't know that. We know it. Right now, you want to cut the ring down on the man using, your leg, using his legs. You want to go to that body. The hand right by Valoria. But it was to the side of the head, not part of the target area. There's an illustration right there of a punch. It's not a scoring blow. One air within two. I'm going to be honest with you. If you weren't going by this score system, you just looked at the fight. You'd have to argue with me if you said that you didn't think Donaire had a good chance of winning this. And there's the bell to end it. Brian Valoria has won a very tight 8-6. Points decision win against Nonito Donaire. And Valoria has won the Olympic team trials here in Tampa, Florida. Good effort by Valoria. The Hawaiian punch. He was able to counter inside some of the wide punches of Donaire, Teddy. Yeah, he was able to throw the punches when he had his man in front of him at the right time. And that jab would always be effective. And you see him using it right there. And you see Valoria, when he gets his opportunities, he takes advantage of them. Got his man on the ropes. He knows what to do. And there, of course, you can see Donaire using those legs. At 106 pounds, from the blue corner, Brian, Brian Valoria, the reigning world champion and 1999 United States champion, wins the team trials, and he sweeps the Donaire brothers. He beat Glenn in the semifinals, and now Nonito in the finals here of the 2000 U.S. Olympic team trials. So... Brian Valoria will head to the box office as the trials champion. Coming up in our next bout, 112 pounds, Roberto Benitez against Jose Navarro after this timeout on NBC. Championship trainer Teddy Atlas. And Teddy, when you look at years gone by, the United States has always fielded a very strong boxing team, and you feel that this team could be made of granite. Yeah, they're used to being in the gold medal hunt. And you know what? That's gone a little bit scarce lately. The last two Olympics, they haven't been really mining that gold. Only two gold medals in the last two. Of course, the last one, we had Reed, David Reed, who brought home a gold medal. And he's won a world title since that. Then you go back to the Olympics before that, the golden boy himself, Oscar De La Hoya. But no big medals. The rules are a little bit different than the professional game, and the scoring is different as well. With more on that, we welcome in Fred Rogan. Hey, Bob, thanks very much. All right, folks, if you are scoring at home, let's show you what the judges will be looking at here in Tampa today. We have highlighted the part of the body that is the scoring area with yellow. Basically, any firm or solid blow with the white part of the glove scores a point. In front of the five judges around the ring, there is a box just like this, a blue button and a red button. Anytime a point is scored, they will push the button. If three of the five judges push the button within a second of each other, a point is scored. That's how they're scored, Bob. Back to you. All right, Fred, and throughout the afternoon, you will be able to see the score as it happens. We will start with the 106-pound weight class, light flyweights. Ryan Valoria and Nonito Donaire will square off. We take a look at the matchup. Donaire, 17 years of age. This is the first meeting between the two. Valoria is the world champion and the 1999 United States champion. You see that Valoria is a right-hander and Donaire is the southpaw. And there is Nonito Donaire, born in the Philippines, moved to the United States in 1993. And he has a brother, Glenn, that will be fighting in the challengers bracket tonight. Brian Valoria, the Hawaiian punch, one of the hardest punchers in the weight class in amateur boxing, 19 years of age. Remember, four two-minute rounds in the amateur boxing game. And you'll notice that Valoria, you're going to see, has more of a pro style. And Donaire, he'll box a little bit. No big gold, 
this year I believe that the United States team can get up to three or four once again like they used to in years gone past. Well this will be a very long road for the United States boxers because not only do they have to get through the Olympic trials but then in two weeks here on NBC they'll fight in the box offs in Connecticut. Then after that America's qualification boxers from North Central and South America will compete in three different tournaments. The only nation not involved in that Cuba they will have a full 12 man team. Now as is the case in amateur boxing.